if you listen to the words that are coming out of the players' mouths, I mean, important players, they're going to go to Tony Clark and demand it. And in all my years covering baseball, it's now 34 years. This will be the 34th year of my life. I have never seen people go on the record and excoriate people by name, teams by name, ever until this. So that's what even makes it sexier. Listen to this. This is the reigning MVP in the National League, Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger spoke today about the Astros. And, and baseball players are known, Peter and Don, for being vanilla. They're not going to give you the hammer down sort of quote. They're going to tiptoe around things. I mean, right out of the Derek Jeter school of answering questions. They give you just enough, but nothing that's going to make a headline. Well, Cody Bellinger is going to make headlines today for what he said. Here's what he does. He goes up and in on the Astros. Here's the reigning most valuable player in the National League, Cody Bellinger of the Dodgers. I thought the apologies were whatever. Uh, I thought Jim Cranes was weak. Um, I thought Manfred's punishment was weak, giving him immunity. Um, I mean, these guys were cheating for three years. Um, you know, I think what people don't realize is Altuve stole an MVP from Judge in 17. Um, everyone knows they stole the ring from us. I know personally I lost respect for those guys. Um, I think I would say everyone in the show in the big leagues lost respect for those guys. I don't know what human hits a walk-off home run against Raldis Chapman to send your team to the World Series. And one has the thought to say, don't rip my jersey off. But two, go in the tunnel, change your shirt, and then come out and do your interview. Like that, that makes no sense to me. It makes zero sense to me. Because I know me, Gary Sanchez said yesterday, you can rip my shirt off, my pants off. I sent my team to the World Series off for all this Chapman in the ninth inning at home. You can do, you know, I'm going crazy. Unbelievable. Oof. That's well, up and in. That's not chin it. music. He just hit somebody in the temple. He he addressed everything. He addressed everything, including that that Altuve rounding third <laughs> and heading to the World Series thought about his wife saying, don't rip my shirt off. That is the biggest nonsense. Now, I can't tell you whether or not there's a buzzer there, but there's something going on why he didn't want his shirt ripped off. And forget when Michael Don and Peter say it. But when baseball players think that as well, because there's no way when you're in that state of euphoria that that's what you're thinking of. You, well, there's just not. You know, it's one thing to respond to what happened in 2017 and the discipline the Astros got for 2017. Cody Bellinger, who's not some scrub, he's an MVP. Um, MLB had him as the top five player in Major League Baseball. He's giving 18 and 19 as a fait accompli. They were cheating then. Amazing. Right, so that's the thing that the MLB has to really address here. They can pat themselves on the back for the discipline in 2017 all they want. The fact is that Major League Baseball refuses, the, the MLB, the players refuse to believe that nothing was going on in 2019. MLB is telling you they investigated it, they found nothing. Bull. Everybody around baseball, it's a fait accompli that they cheated in 18 and used the buzzers in 19. I mean, how do you get up from that if you're, if you're Manfred? You did an investigation and found nothing, and no one believes you. Your own game doesn't believe you. Your own players don't believe you.